Alright guys, and welcome back to more Danganronpa, and we are about to head to the gym to see what the hell Monokuma wants, and this is a completely new day. You might be seeing this footage, like maybe, I'm recording this on the 25th, which is the day one of my favorite games of all time has gotten re-released -re for the PS3 in the HD collection, that's right, Toes, of... Symphonia Chronicles. I could care less about the second game, but Tales of Symphonia HD I got released today. I can't get it until later this week once I get paid. But I'm definitely getting the game. Definitely can't wait to play it. And you guys might see this footage probably like on the weekend. So I'm, I may be recording this on Tuesday, but uh, let's say uh, you guys won't be seeing it until not Wednesday. Like, I have so much footage I didn't even upload yet. There's so much footage I need to upload for you guys, but we need to get to the gym here first. I need to stop talking about what games I'm going to play after this. <laughs> but Tales of Symphonia is indeed my favorite game of all time. Persona 4 Golden almost beat it, but you can't beat you can't beat Symphonia, man. Symphonia is... Oh, wait, so Sakura is by herself. We need to talk to her. Huh. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you going in? However, I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Sakura? Well, then. Makoto? If something happens to me, Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. Never mind. So then. I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? What? Sakura? Uh, I, I, come on, Sakura. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. Damn, dude, there's only seven of us. Seven of us left, dude. Like, a lot of these guys don't even look like they've killed nobody, though. Like, it's insane. Fucking Monokuma fat ass. His fat, small ass. Making the damn ground bounce. He made it bounce, dude. Like, that's how big he is. That's how small big. <laughs> You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm? What are you talking That's about? Right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again? I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the total pole of life you really are. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not it at all. We're here to talk about motive. We're not here to talk about motive. Oh, well, I read that wrong. I was expecting motive. Today, I'm feeling black. The reason I gather you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? You have a grudge against you? <laughs> we have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. <laughs> I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I'll be Yahuya. You already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. So yeah, what about it? In other words, I like to tell you about that spy. What? Hey. So um... guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. He said the spy is Sakura. What is this? What are you talking about? You're a liar! There's no way Sakura is a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Huh? <laughs> I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to the hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Kills, kills, kills! Roaster, boiler, killer, don't kill it, whatever. I can't wait! I can't wait! And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understand what he was beginning to talk about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal, damn. Huh? What the heck? So what does this mean? What? What? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? 
But this is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. You're wrong. There's just no way. Hey. If he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Oh, he was no! being serious for serious? I'm sorry. Huh? It's not true. Sokka was probably being controlled. There's got to be some reason she didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. I'm sure Hina. Uh, the mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. <laughs> You're talking like you know that for a fact. Shut up, Toko. You don't even fucking hang out with us. You don't even. Shut up. Shut up. I do know it for a fact because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's when I heard it. Monokuma mentioned the hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I, I heard Sakura say. She decided to fight against the mastermind. I see. You saw all that. The mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We can't just believe what he, what she says now. <laughs> How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is the double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay then, Sakura. If you have... You really have cut ties with the mastermind. Tell us who they really are. Well, I'm sorry. I can't even do that. I don't. I don't know that. Yeah. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. Please. She's telling the truth. Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. Come on. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? I was told to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. I see. So even now, you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong. You're wrong. Sakura would never do that. <laughs> what the heck? We don't have to yell. We can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible. It's because you're not listening to me. Wait. You don't need to defend me anymore. <sighs> I have to take full responsibility for this. She has, she has to re-you pose. How do you intend to do that? <laughs> By destroying the mastermind. She's gonna break down the door. I... Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat him. I'm sorry. This is how I intend to take responsibility. She has that Ryu pose. Look at that. Huh? What do you mean if you both go down? Hina. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and ag well. again and again. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But, but... I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Bing bong, ding dong, shlong dong. <clears throat> this as such, soon the doors to the di- Okay then. I don't hear- I, I don't want to hear you, Monokuma. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura is- Don't make me repeat myself. Over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible! Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Why does- Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. What is this? That's... Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? What? Anyway... Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakuya says Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy, she's my friend! Without a doubt, I know Kingdom Hearts is life, right Makoto? <laughs> what can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? Guess I'll have to mack it up with everybody. 
since mostly there's only three dudes here and most of them are girls. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, it's Byakuya, it's Hero. Well, it's even right now because we got Toko, we got Kyoko, and then we got Hina and Sakura. Well, it's not even right now. As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Four girls, three boys. You know, and even in a baseball player in the damn major leagues, blah, blah, blah. Even a soccer player. What the fuck are you talking about? Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer. Hmm. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets. Has things they like to go back and but change. But I don't, cause I'm a bear. You know what? Kill yourself, Monokuma. Kill yourself. Good morning, everyone. Get ready to. I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Love this shit. It's so good. Hey, what up, Kyoko? You still mad at me? Good morning. Damn, come on, girl. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Now, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Jam, love this jam. Aww, now they gonna play this creepy ass drum music. Uh, um. Hey Makoto, are you okay? What do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried about you. What? <laughs> what a dullard. Even Byakuya showed up. What the hell? What are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. <laughs> I know y'all ain't scared of Sakura. Refuge? Such Don't ignorance. make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. Your Masterminds? Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in a dining hall was Sakura. But where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against the threat. Threat? What is this? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because things makes things because this makes things unfair. Unfair. The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What, what did you say? Stupid? This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible. It is stupid, and you're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think of st stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? What the heck? Yeah, we're getting revenge on it, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However... That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words... This right here? <laughs> this right here? The fighting? The bickering is the trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? But... That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if she really can't... can be the, uh, excuse me, if she really can beat the mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in mine. What are you saying? You really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> it wouldn't matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, that's one less problem for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya. <laughs> In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. Woo! Somebody got slapped. What the hell? Ooh, you got bitch smacked! <laughs> Look at that red spark. You disgust me. You're... you're a monster. 
To say something like that? It should have been you. You should have been the one to die! What? I should have died? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Huh? <laughs> Calm down, Hina! Damn! That's right. This is exactly what the mastermind wants, and this is exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> that stupid cow, how dare she? She should die a thousand deaths, no, a million. She was just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. Just a second. If what's... It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya, and all you can do is mock them for it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning? Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you hard. I don't have time to play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts. <laughs> so, um, you know? Um... How about we, uh, eat? Maybe now that's not a... Maybe now... Not, maybe now's not a good time. What you the know? fuck? When I went, each of us left the dining hall. Damn. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Free time, maybe? Woo! So what should I do today? We got free time. Let's see if we can go hang out with Hina, at least. Save the game, obviously. We don't want no problems. We don't want no problems, problems. <laughs> we really don't want no problems, problems. Please don't kill nobody. Please. We don't want no problems. We don't want no problems. Can I hang out with Sakura if she's here? Let's zoom up a little bit. What the hell is everybody? Everybody's on the new floor. Kyoko's here. She's over there. Let's try to hang out with Hina and Sakura. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have just warped there. Shit, hi. I should have had uh, just warped there. Can I talk to her? Anyway. I don't have time to. Well, wow. Okay. It's, it's like that then, Kyoko. It's like that. Alright, I'll patch it up with you later. Headmaster. Where is our little girl? Let's hang out. Alright, please let me hang out with her. Um... Makoto, did you want something? Spend some time with Hina. About that. Were you worried about me? Sorry. That's nice of you. But I did what I could for her. Let's give her a present. Let's give her flotation. Oh, we already gave her that. You know what? We have like two other things that she like. She likes the G Sig, but she probably will like. The water lover, a lot. For me? This makes me feel a little better. Yeah. Was I able to cheer her up a little? So it was again another waste of fucking time. Okay, we're not gonna hang out with Hina right now. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you can create the right opportunity. Let's hang out with her a little bit. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, you still stand by me? <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. What was she like? Do we have any like protein shit? Max glove? I'm a little embarrassed, but also very happy. I got the impression that she really liked it. That's good. Another useless opportunity, dude. Like, did, did the report card fill out? I 
Oh my god, dude, like... Yo, you're gonna have to do like 6,000 playthroughs of this game, dude. Like, no one wants to talk. So we're gonna reload, and then we got we have to hang out with somebody else that's not affected right now by the situation. So we can't we can't talk to Kyoko, Hina, or Sakura. So we have to hang out with people we rarely hang out with, and that's either Toko. Um Let's hang out with Byakuya again, I guess. It's been it's a while. Certainly possible. Sakura is dangerous, as is Hina. You never know when they might strike. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind allowing you to indulge my intention. Whatever, bro. Let's see. Uh, let's just give him some fucking water. If you insist, I suppose I can accept it. So, in other words, just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny is only one of the many talents that I have. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Togami Mei. Is this a monologue or something? <laughs> but I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. What? The Togami Corporation races across the world, true. But I will take us to even greater heights. Yo, Byakuya looks like he would have Kaiba's voice in the real anime. <laughs> nah. <laughs> It is expected of me, or expected of me. Naturally, after all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate super, er, su superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Tagami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified. I assure you, it comes from the battles I fought and won. <laughs> I am personally worth over four billion dollars separate from my Togami's family assets. Wow, how the heck did you make that much money? In other words... The stock market. Damn. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends all within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff in the so uh, stock market. Day trading, I guess? You're talking about day trading. And you were able to make four billion dollars doing that. That's right. First I started doing it just to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's really not a big deal. I say it's a super big deal. But our high school is even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm Byakuya Tagami, bitch. <laughs> is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Tagami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern day nobility. You know, Byakuya, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart, dude. Galaxies apart. Oh shit. I got a trophy unlocked. Let's look at what we just unlocked. Skill or be skilled. Nice, got 20 maximum skill points all together, I, I believe. Still reeling from Byakuya's story, I went back to my room. The only other person we can hang out with at this moment is Yashihiro. You know, we'll hang out with Byakuya again. We're gonna hang out with Byakuya. Byakuya Kuchiki. No, I'm just playing. We're not gonna do it. We gotta go to the warehouse. Oh, we can hang out with Toko as well. She gave us a skill already, right? Um, we'll see what uh, Toko has to offer us. When are we ever gonna get out of here? Not that I have much to look forward to if I did get out. Oh my god. Ultimate stereotypical archetype. Aren't you such a good person showing me all this pity? 
You better give me a skill, Toko. Kitten hair clip, everlasting bracelet. Love status ring. Let's give her this. Where on your right hand, you're looking for love. On your left, you found it. On both, well, that's just asking for catastrophe. You don't really, do you? No, you're just trying to trick me. Trying to make me the butt of your joke. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. That's strange. Toko never wants to talk to me. I thought she hated my guts. What's your problem? Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah, I'm listening. I just wanted to clear something up. I mean, I have to clear it up. What I said before, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? What did you say? About not having any love in real life? I don't want you thinking I don't have any experience at all. Even someone like me has gone on a date. Oh. It's true, I'm not lying. I'll tell you all about it if you really want to hear. Uh, no, it's okay. It was in junior high and... I don't know where this guy from another class just asked me out. Okay, I didn't want to hear it, but okay. Alright, I'm hearing it anyway. He asked me to make plans for the date. I stayed up all night for three days planning it. And when I came up with... What? It was our first date, so I wanted to go do something traditional. I decided to on going to see something. What was it? Are you stupid? You're talking traditional date stuff. What do you think it was? A movie. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? If you go watch it, then afterward, talk about it all passionately. In other words, it's ideal first date material. You stayed up for three days and that's what you came up with? Next, I had to decide what to go see. Since we were in junior high, we couldn't go see some kids movie, right? I wanted to see something really action-packed. A guy would definitely like that kind of thing. And it could get you both pumped up. And we decided to check out a... Whoa, a Seijun Suzuki triple feature. What? Tokyo Drifter fighting Alleji and... What? Branded to kill. Irresistible for any guy, right? And those are all... You don't know what... What the fuck is that? Who is he? The world famous for his one-of-a-kind... Aesthetic, his unique blending of color. What are you talking about? The killer is the main character and he gets riled up by the smell of cooking rice. A murder masterpiece? Honestly, I think there's probably not a lot of guys my age who have any idea who he is. You're right, I learned that fact the hard way. He must have hated it because he disappeared right in the middle of the first movie. He just left? And after you pull that effort... Put all that effort into planning everything out. That's awful. It is what it is. Besides, I found it was just a dare anyway. A dare? He lost a bet with his friends, so he had to go out on a date with me. And there I was, spending three days to come up with something to do for us. This is all your fault. You made me remember that terrible trauma. My fault? Do you like humiliating, humiliating me that much? Is that how you get your kicks? I finally seen the real you. No, I... I can't be around you and your perverted fed. What? What? I didn't even do anything. Eyes burning with hatred. Toko glared at me before stomping off. Now she's gotta hate me. <laughs> All right, more skill points, I guess. That's not a bad thing, I guess. Looks like it's nighttime. Yep. Bing bong. So what I'm gonna do, guys? Save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Dangan Rumpa because this episode went on longer than it needed to. So I'll see you guys in a bit.